A new era in Mons, the Workers' Party of Belgium, or PTB, joins the ruling coalition. The city of Mons, Belgium, has a new political landscape. For the first time, the PTB is part of the ruling coalition. This marks a significant shift in Walloon politics. The PTB, known for its left-wing stance, has steadily gained popularity. Their inclusion signals a potential turning point in the region. The PTB's entry comes after a closely contested election. This led to weeks of negotiations and a unique coalition. The coalition includes the Socialist Party, the Humanist Democratic Centre and the PTB. This new alliance is significant for several reasons. It signifies a willingness to bridge ideological divides for governance. It also reflects the growing desire for change among Mons's electorate. The PTB's presence is expected to bring a distinct voice to the city's leadership. The coming together of these parties has generated considerable interest. Political analysts are keenly observing the situation. The success or failure of this coalition could have implications beyond Mons. It might even influence future political alignments across Wallonia. The new coalition in Mons agreed on a carefully negotiated distribution of power. This ensures representation for each party. The agreement reflects the strengths of each coalition member. It also aims to address the key concerns of Mons's citizens. The mayoralty goes to the Socialist Party, continuing their long-held leadership in the city. They also maintain control over key departments like finance and urban planning. The Humanist Democratic Centre, known for its focus on social issues, takes charge of education and social services. This allows them to directly impact the well-being of the city's residents. The PTB, as a newcomer to the coalition, secured important positions related to their core issues. They are entrusted with the departments of housing and employment. These areas are crucial for the working class, the PTB's traditional base. The PTB's role in these departments allows them to implement policies aligned with their vision. This distribution of power is designed to create a balanced approach to governance. It aims to address the diverse needs of the city's population. The success of this power-sharing agreement will depend on the coalition's ability to work together effectively. The inclusion of the PTB in Mons's ruling coalition represents a significant departure from the city's political traditions. For decades, Mons has been governed by centre-left and centre-right parties. The PTB, with its more radical left-wing ideology, remained on the fringes of local politics. The city has a strong socialist history the Socialist Party has held the mayoralty for several terms. This dominance made Mons a predictable force in Walloon politics. However, in recent years, the political landscape has shifted. The rise of the PTB reflects a growing dissatisfaction with the status quo. The party's focus on social justice, economic equality and workers' rights has resonated with a segment of the population. This is particularly true among younger voters and those feeling left behind by traditional parties. The PTB's inclusion in the coalition marks a break from the predictable patterns of the past. It injects an element of uncertainty into Mon's political future. This uncertainty is welcomed by some and viewed with apprehension by others. The new coalition in Mons has unveiled an ambitious programme. It outlines their vision for the city's future. This programme, heavily influenced by the PTB's priorities, focuses on social justice, economic development and citizen participation. One of the key promises is to address the issue of affordable housing. 
the PTB, now in charge of the Housing Department, has pledged to increase the availability of social housing. They also plan to implement measures to regulate rent prices. Another priority is job creation and economic revitalization. The coalition aims to attract new businesses to Mons and support the growth of existing ones. They also plan to invest in education and training programs to equip residents with the skills needed in the modern job market. The coalition has also promised to increase citizen participation in local government. They plan to create more opportunities for residents to voice their concerns and provide input on city projects. This commitment to citizen engagement is seen as a way to make the government more responsive to the needs of the people. Section 5. Cheers and Jeers. Reactions to the PTB's rise. The inclusion of the PTB in Mons' ruling coalition has elicited a wide range of reactions. Some celebrate it as a victory for democracy and change, while others express concerns about the party's radical past. Supporters view this as a historic moment. They believe the party will improve the lives of working-class people. Critics express scepticism and concern. They worry about the economic consequences of PTB's policies. The general public's reaction is mixed. The true test will be translating promises into tangible results. Section 6. Navigating the road ahead. Challenges for the coalition. The new coalition in Mons marks a significant shift, but the road ahead is challenging. They must navigate ideological differences, manage public expectations, and prove their ability to govern. Maintaining unity within the coalition is crucial. The PS, CDH and PTB come from different ideological backgrounds. Disagreements and tensions are inevitable as they implement their shared programme. Managing public expectations is another challenge. They have made ambitious promises, especially in affordable housing and job creation. Delivering on these promises requires careful planning and resources. Failure could lead to voter disillusionment and instability. The coalition must prove its ability to govern effectively. The PTB, as newcomers, need to show they can work within the system and achieve results. Section 7. The Future of Mons. What's at stake? The new coalition in Mons has embarked on an unprecedented political experiment. The outcome of this experiment will have significant implications for the city's future, shaping its social fabric, economic landscape and political direction. The coalition's success in implementing its programme could lead to a more socially just and economically equitable Mons. Increased access to affordable housing, better job opportunities and improved social services could enhance the quality of life for many residents, particularly those from disadvantaged backgrounds. However, the coalition's failure to deliver on its promises could have the opposite effect. Unfulfilled expectations could lead to increased frustration and disillusionment with the political system. This could further exacerbate existing social and economic divisions within the city. Moreover, the success or failure of the coalition in Mons is likely to have ripple effects beyond the city's borders. It could embolden left-wing movements in other parts of Wallonia and beyond, potentially leading to similar political realignments. Section 8. Conclusion a city watches and waits. The new coalition in Mons, with the PTB's historic inclusion, stands at a crossroads. The eyes of Wallonia and beyond are upon them as they navigate the challenges of governance and strive to implement their ambitious programme. The coming years will reveal whether this unlikely alliance can bring about real change and usher in a new era for the city of Mons.
the citizens of Mons, their hopes and anxieties intertwined. Watch and wait as this political experiment unfolds. The stakes are high, not only for Mons, but for the future of Wallonian politics. The success or failure of this coalition could well determine the direction of political discourse and the shape of things to come in this historically significant region. Section 9 about the author. Rachel Maddow, known for her sharp wit and insightful 